Hi, I'm Marek Mulacic from SAITraining.co.uk, one of the UK's leading specialists in Adobe Certified Training. And in this video, I'm going to give you a quick overview of a new panel in Photoshop, Adobe Exchange. Here's the Adobe Exchange. Uh, if you go to Photoshop Live from British.co.uk, you can find out a bit more about Adobe Exchange and also where to download it from. You'll find a link here to Adobe Exchange that will open the Adobe Exchange page. And in here you can go and download it. Adobe Exchange is still in beta and works with many of Adobe applications. It's Creative Suite 6, so CS6. Once you download it, you just double click on it and it will install using Adobe Extension Manager, Adobe Extension Manager CS6. Once you've got it, you go to, just close that, you go to Photoshop, okay, and here in Photoshop, uh, you, if you go to Window, Extensions, you find Adobe Exchange in here. If you had Photoshop running when you were installing Exchange, you will need to restart Photoshop. You also find Adobe Exchange here on the side. So you click on it to open it. You will need to, uh, the internet connection for Adobe Exchange. It's going to connect to the server. And you will need to log in. Okay, when the... So I'm going to just... Login. Okay. Oh, do, 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 do. I was going to skip it. I'm just updating the date of birth and it's launching. And in here, you get access to Adobe Exchange. Now, because it's a panel, you can easily resize it so you can make it bigger and smaller, so I'll just make it a bit bigger for you to see it, and go to all the category, paid, free, and my staff. So for example, I'm going to click on all, oops, sorry, <laughs> I just reload in. So I'm on all, okay, and you can see all the extensions here in Adobe Exchange. Okay. For example, we've got some paper textures from Russell Brown. So I'm going to click on that. It'll be paper textures from Russell Brown. So you can add easily, you can easily add textures to images uh, in Photoshop. Okay, and it's free. Okay, so I'll just click on it, and it's downloading the paper textures here into Photoshop. Shouldn't take too long. And it should be done in just a moment. Okay. And it's installing. Should only take a moment to install it. Obviously, using the Adobe Extension Manager, in this case CS6, it's just installed an extension because it's an extension to Photoshop. I'll accept the terms of conditions. And in just a moment, it's going to be installed. So you could easily start using it inside of Photoshop. Once you've got it installed, you close the extension manager and you will need to reinstall restart Photoshop. So close the Photoshop down and reopen it. Now I'm going to show you how to use this workspace example. I've opened an image here in Photoshop and I'll go to Window, Extensions and Paper Texture. The Paper Texture panel opens. It normally opens here on the side, like that. So first you can choose the color overlay. There's lots of them in here. I'm going to leave it as overlay for now. Oh, I'm sorry, blend mode. Okay. And now you can choose a texture. So I'm just going to select maybe this one. Or just click on it. Or press OK. And the texture is being applied to the image. Really, really nice. <coughs> Excuse me, interesting effect. And quickly and easily with the paper texture extension using Adobe Exchange. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. I'm Marek Mulacic from SAITraining.co.uk and from PhotoshopLightroomBridge.co.uk. Hope you enjoyed it.